Hey friends, it's April Holly Smith, and look, I'm downstairs. Kids are outside playing in the backyard with Chris, so I don't have to haul everything up to do this. Yay! All right, so it is time to do our every dollar weekly budget update, and this one's going to be a little different because now that we're debt free, Chris and I discussed the um the option of going back to doing every dollar plus. I have a I've had a lot of people ask me if we use every dollar plus. I did have every dollar plus for a year. And then in November or December when it um ran out, I just said, you know what, we're gonna finish this debt. I'm not it's something I'm not gonna spring a hundred dollars for. So we are going to just go without. We're debt free. And I told Chris that I, I think I would like to go back to every dollar. And he said, just do it. Um, just, he said, just pay for it and do it. So this morning, before I did my every dollar stuff, I did it. And I just paid for it with my debit card. And it's live. Now, it took me a little while to get, like, the old transactions that I manually put in um, kind of cleared out. So... As you can see, my face is over the list, <laughs> and um, I'm gonna so I'm gonna move my face over here, and it did pull in a bunch of transactions, which is amaze balls. And then um, we're gonna update a few things together, and also just so that you know, my grocery stuff from the weekend did not is still pending. Usually, if I did it manually, nothing ever pens because you type, 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 and it's going. So next week, we're going to have a lot of transactions with that. And I will tell you, I can be totally upfront with you. You can watch my haul video from yesterday. And I did go over, but I am like $38.02 or something over for the entire month, which is not terribly bad. I'm also going to go ahead and speak about that real fast. So people would say, well, you did that no spend month. and then you um you know you just blew the budget the next month well i say four hundred dollars in groceries on my no spend month so if you subtract let's just round up forty dollars from that uh that's still three hundred and sixty dollars that i saved so still 100 percent worth it still winning no matter what that's what we call failing up even though i didn't even though maybe i did not meet my grocery goal today things were still so good from the no spend month that I'm still in the winning category even though I failed I failed a winner <laughs> so okay so this tree city coffee this is from the day um, that Chris ran over a pothole and broke grandma the truck had to get up out of the house really early I don't like to leave the house that early so um I did get the girls a donut. Actually, they, they told me, we don't have donuts and a coffee. Chris is like, get a coffee on the road and I'm so sorry. Poor guy, he was really broke up about it. So I got me a big coffee and I got the girls two cookies or something because they had like scones and I don't know, cookies. It was It's kind of foofy. Um, but Tree City is Kent, Ohio with the black squirrels. It's foofy. It's a college town. It was in a foofy part of the college town. Kent in general is not foofy, but it was foofy for Kent. Let's say that. Okay. So Sam's Club, $25.14. This was a gas for yellow. And look at me. Still on the. That makes me happy. Okay. So Google did pay me, which is a good thing. That is YouTube income. I always estimate my YouTube income at a flat 100. Because if it's not that, I don't get paid, right? So uh, this was my January payment. My February payment will be larger than this because somebody gave me a super chat. Guy again, thank you, babe. Um, which was really awesome and like super exciting to get. Like, why? So um, I'm gonna have a nice chunk from that, and it my the payment I get in March for February will also be the last month that I get paid for AHS vlogs. Unless <clears throat> you subscribe, hint, hint. I have my watch minutes on that channel. I just need the subscribers. So if you want to subscribe and not watch, 
it would be okay. It would not hurt my feelings. Um, this cash deposit, this is from my mom. It's actually, I'm going to edit this because we're going to change the amount. And the reason I'm going to change the amount is I had personal spending money that I used my card for, for Amazon, which is coming up. You see, you see it right here. The and, um, some, oh, sorry, and some tip money for, uh, pizza and some stuff. Anyway, that needed to be put back in because we had it in cash. It had to be redeposited. But the majority of this money is from my mom for car parts for one of her cars. So we are going to mom reimbursements. Mm. That was quick math in my head. Aren't you impressed that I did that? Um, okay, so Chris got paid from Viking Forge, which was awesome since that's the whole purpose of us doing this. Um, now, we did order Pizza Hut. I can't eat Pizza Hut, but I can't eat their wings, the non-boneless uh, wings. Those are just chicken nuggets. True. Um, $30.46. We're way over. Oh, actually, we're not terribly over, are we? Well, that's a miracle. I don't know why. I just felt like maybe when we get takeout, it just feels like we eat out more. Because we didn't eat out over the one weekend. Okay, so I'm, I, I gotta focus here. So then we have Amazon Marketplace, and that is April spending money. I bought a new thing. Look at me. I do have just changed. So I will attempt to show you what I got <clears throat> only because this happens to be right here on the table next to me. I got this, which is a pen case for all of my pens. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, as a, I just needed something that was adult and organized and for me only because that's what my spending money is for. So that was $16.99, which I found to be very, very reasonable because it's really nice size. And it held all of that cube of gel pens that I had and all of my regular pens that Chris got me for Christmas, my bold Bic pens, which are super awesome. And my super fine tipped pens that I got from the Dollar Tree. Uh, and then this down here, this Summit Racing, uh, when Chris broke Grandma the truck on the pothole in Kent, Ohio. Um, and I'm going to give a shout out to Kent Roosevelt High School, who he was right next to, so he pulled in the parking lot there. The school security guard and was very generous and nice to us and let him fix that in the parking lot. And they just made it very easy for us. And, you know, a lot of times schools have reputation for being really how do you politely say it? Being a dick. Uh, you know, they're very rigid. They're, they're not, they don't work with you a lot. And we don't have any kids there. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're like nothing to them. We are completely like non-campus people. And they were very generous to us. And um, I just want to express my appreciation to the Kent School District for that. Portage County. It's not Portage. Well, they are Portage County, but they're not part of their... I just want to appreciate them. You go, Kent Roosevelt. Um, he Chris went to Summit and bought some parts, which is already in here. It was like $66 from last week. I don't even know where I put this. It's not here. It's not here. Mm. Did I have a car repair fund? Car repairs, the $61 right here. I guess that I never put the, obviously I knew how much it was going to be because 61.42, is that right? Oh, here they come. 49. You didn't have that much fun? We only have a little bit of fun. But, Dad, warmed up late. Maybe if it warms up later, we'll go back out again. 
All right, so we're going to put that in this category. And then we had a credit because one of the parts Chris got just in case we didn't need. So we took it back, so he got $17 back. So we're going to change his stuff, make all our numbers right. So those are all of our numbers this week for every dollar. It was so simple and so easy this time. I'm very excited. So tell me. What were your highlights and what were your peaks and your valleys for your budgeting this week? Um, share it down in the comments below. I really enjoy reading those and um, it helps me feel like uh, I'm participating with you. It's not just you seeing mine, but we get some interaction and engagement. And I really, really, really like that. Um, so comment below with, like I said, your, um, your peaks, your peaks and your valleys. Hit a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Mommy, Hit a thumb. I'm going to go take care of these kids because now they're in. Poor Chris is probably freezing his little took us off because it's cold out. So I will see you next week, guys. Bye.